Brett, the last time I spoke to you was at the start of the Indian season in September, and we agreed upon the fact that except for your movie title, there is very little un-Indian about you. It's been six months since you've spent a considerable amount of that time right here in India. Is a new passport around the corner? Well, look, I think that um, you know, every chance I get you know, to come back to India, I certainly enjoy. You mentioned about un-Indian. That was a lot of fun doing that. Uh, I've certainly been enjoying working over here on the IPO. We've seen, obviously, the, the test matches just recently. But um, today has been a huge day for me, you know, launching Bowling Master. Um, to me, this is the opportunity to put the, uh, the balance back in the, the line of the bowlers. Uh, we see so many great training drills for batsmen around the world, but this is an opportunity now to help the bowlers out. And you speak to us right after the launch of a new initiative, which, if you're getting it right, sounds like something that will come as music to the ears of your bowling brethren. Tell us more. Yeah, well, look, it, it's, a, it's a training device where you get a bowling mat and you roll it out alongside the pitch, and it, it clearly shows you colour-coded zones from your, you know, your Yorker, your full, your good, and your short length. And a child can go up and he can bowl the ball and put down a bowling marker. So you have a big target marker in place, you put down a bowling marker where the ball lands and then you go into the app on the phone which is free after you download it and then you press the, the button, you take the photo and it gives you real time uh, feedback as to where the ball's landed, puts it in the algorithm, puts it into the, the bank of, of knowledge that's in your phone and you can instantly go back and see where you've landed the ball um, you know, weeks ago. Coming back to the season of cricket that's just gone by us, what a season it's been. Having, having had the vantage point from a broadcast point of view, what is your assessment of what many have labelled the grand home season of Indian cricket? Well, look, I think that it's been exciting cricket. We've uh, seen the way that India played. India obviously played very well throughout the Test Series. They come back 1-0 down um, you know, from Pune. So, you know, Australia had an opportunity to win it, uh, but unfortunately for them, they lost one session, which I think cost them the series. But, look, it was fantastic to watch, a lot of fun. And it took all of, what, a week for the Test Match Whites to go and the franchise colours to come on. Cricket really has changed so much since the time you first played almost 20 years ago. Well, look, I think that um, what we've seen throughout the, um, the last couple of weeks, we've seen some amazing test cricket. Now we're in IPL mode. Um, it's certainly great that the guys can, can go and freshen up for a week between the test series and then on to IPL. Um, but look, you know, we are, I guess, lucky. We're very gifted that we've seen so much cricket in the last couple of months. And there's much more to come as well. We've got, you know, the, so many more games of cricket coming up, different tournaments. So uh, if you're a cricket lover, you know, you're in a pretty good spot. You yourself turned out for two IPL franchises over the years, the Kings XI Punjab and the Kolkata Knight Riders. Tell us, when you're sitting up in the commentary box, which side is it that Brett Lee roots for? Oh, look, I, um, I enjoy watching both. I, I don't really have a favourite. I can't um, say which is my favourite between KKR and Kings XI Punjab. I obviously wish them both well, as I do for any IPL side there. You know, I wish them all well and, and, and hope they have a great tournament. Um, but I think that you know when they're up against a, uh, a different side, a side that I haven't played for, I think deep down you're just hoping that one of those teams that I've played for is one. And your two former teams aside, what's your early assessment on IPL 2017? Would you be willing to stick your neck out and point to any favourites <laughs> so far? No, it's too early, mate. Not not yet. You know, IPL is about um, consistently, you know, peaking at the right time. Uh, you know, doing, doing the business from the front end, but also to having that, that way that you can accelerate your performance as the tournament goes on, so it's too early to call. It's the 10th season of the IPL, Brett, and one of the more heartwarming storylines of perhaps IPL history is playing out already in the name of 18-year-old Afghanistan cricketer Rashid Khan. Oh, well, what you do see is you see some wonderful cultures being put into the IPL. You know, Rashid Khan, as you mentioned, has had an opportunity to come over here and done very well. We've seen players that didn't ever make the cut now have been um, you know, performing at the top level and taking wickets or scoring runs. So it's a great breeding ground, it's a great opportunity and uh, I certainly love watching it. One final question before we let you go, Brett. This season of the IPL leads us straight into the Champions Trophy. I know there's still a while to go for it, but how about a quick prediction? Look, I think that the... Uh, the you know, wicket over there will definitely suit the uh, the players that um, are used to growing up on hard, fast, bouncy wickets for Australia. 
um, you know, for South Africa, for England, um, and certainly with the pace barrage that India have got, I certainly will enjoy watching them play over on what wickets will be, you know, conducive to fast bowling. So, you know, it's going to be a fantastic tournament. All right, on that note, Prattley, thank you so much for your time. It's always a pleasure speaking to you. Pleasure. Thank you. All the best. Thank you.